What's good, my people? You know what time it is. It's your boy, Zach, back in the house with another workout video. Here is the workout description. If you give the workout a shot, let me know how it goes in the comments below, guys. Before this video starts, if you like the video, make sure to hit the like button. I really would appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell if you guys want to stay up to date on my latest videos. I want to say thank you to those who have reached out to me on YouTube, Instagram, Reddit, and Twitter, uh, thanking me for the videos and showing support. You guys don't have to do that, but that small note just means so much to me. It's so much more than a couple sentences. It really impacts me profoundly in a positive way, and you guys motivate the hell out of me to keep going. So to you guys, thank you. Truly, I... I am I mean <laughs> it it feels it feels very good and it reminds me to continue to show appreciation to others whose work I admire and that's something I will continue to do in the future to pass it on and to keep being positive not just for yourself but for other people as well we're all in this together we are all trying to make something of ourselves and to show support to your fellow man uh, takes a big person and a person that's confident in what they are doing in their life so thank you guys uh, the workout, a chest workout. I actually have been having fun lately doing chest. Surprise, surprise. So hopefully that means my goddamn chest will actually grow. That would be awesome. Big focus on my pressing is keeping my head back against the bench. That's all I care about right now. Can you keep your head back on the bench as you press the weights up and down? So that's my goal. As the weights get heavier and heavier, I tend to jump my head off the bench and... With that, I don't feel as stable through my shoulders, so I'm trying my best to keep my head on the bench. And to be honest with you guys, I've been feeling really good lately. I've been feeling very motivated. I've been in a very experimental mood. I've been trying out different exercises. I am really searching for those exercises that agree with me on a structural level, so no joint pain and keeping my joints healthy, but also on the muscular level and making sure I can feel the muscles working well, that I'm achieving a nice pump, and that overall things just click. You know, sometimes the exercises you just know. You're like, yeah, this feels great. Other ones you go, I don't know how people do this. I really don't. I know people love, like people love dumbbell flies on chest day. I really don't like dumbbell flies. I don't feel good on my shoulders, and I just don't get the same, the same pump as I do with cables so I stick to cables I don't ever do dumbbell flies but to each their own right you need to find what works best for you what jives well with you and if you find things that are fun and they give you the desired effect you're gonna stick to them and you're gonna continue to do them week in and week out month in and month out year in and year out because we're in it for the long haul right we wanna continue to be able to go to the gym for years to come it's not just about this coming summer or that big festival or your next birthday or your next vacation. It's a, it's a lifetime. This is a lifestyle. This is something I highly encourage people out there to, when you do have the time, be able to get into the gym so frequently that if you ever have to take a step back and not go to the gym as often because life happens, you'll have that habit so ingrained that it won't feel natural for you not to get to the gym when you do have time. So that would be a big goal for you guys out there. You know, if you feel like you're not getting to the gym enough or you're just doing the bare minimum, I would highly encourage you to push the envelope for a set period of time. See if you can't build that habit so strongly that you can't live without it every single day you're thinking about it. It's the first thing you think about when you wake up. It's the last thing you think about when you go to sleep. That's my advice, guys. And that's something, you know, I want to practice what I preach and that's what I do day in and day out. So guys, coming to the last 10 seconds of the video, I wanna thank you for watching the video. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Until next time, guys, I am out. Take care.